Okay, we've had some time to load it up with some of the most talked about apps, so let's get right to it. Yes. I'm really excited. The one I want to cover first is Netflix. Now, uh, just like your iPhone, you can change the background. So it comes with a couple of different choices, but any of your photos from your photo library can be used as the background for your iPad. Thing. This is Wi-Fi, so if you're getting this and hoping you're going to be able to get on the Internet without having a wireless connection at home, you're going to be out of luck. You need to have a Wi-Fi connection. 3G comes out in about a month. Yeah, okay, so let's see. Here's the, here's the choices of things you can watch instantly. It's super easy. You just scroll through suspenseful comedies. You can tell I'm, I'm kind of a romantic comedy person. And then I like documentaries. Look, look at, I like Food, Inc. <laughs> now, I know that people can do this on their Xbox 360, so they can browse it and then they play it on their TV. But the good thing about this is once you create your queue, you can actually watch it right here. And so you're right. want to watch a movie, heading Just out to the airport. Just take it with you as you're going. I mean, that's it's so easy. TV, movies, I mean, just a whole arsenal of programming at your fingertips, just streaming it wherever you have And you don't have to pay connection. more. You already have your regular Netflix it's, subscription. It's like $9 a month. So any of these, they have, it's a little limited what they have, you know, to watch instantly versus if you get the DVD in the mail. Right. But still, I mean, there's so much to choose from. And do you have an account that gets the DVDs as well as what you can do on here, mm -hmm. or do you just do the instant no. streaming? No, so you can get, I can have one DVD out at a time because mm -hmm. I'm cheap. And it's only $9 a month, okay? But you can watch instantly any of these things. There's no, there's no limit. So you and might not you, even Have you watched a video on here I yet? have. And how's the quality? It's great. It's beautiful. I mean, but I've, I've watched it on my MacBook Pro, mm -hmm. but I haven't on an, on an iPad. So let's just take a peek at something really quick. Now, there are some people that are saying, well, you know, why didn't they make the resolution of the iPad HD? It's not an HD resolution. It's 1024, it's, which... It doesn't it's have, just a little bit shorter, so actually you're never going to get that fit of HD. You can, you know, go full screen, but again, you're not looking at an HD resolution. Which, it's 720p? Is no. that what it, it's not even 720p? No. I thought it, it was. Not. You know, as I'm looking at this right now, it is kind of interesting how, you know, when Steve Jobs says the iPad lets you interact with your media, like you're touching it, it does feel like I'm holding a movie in my hand. Uh-huh. <laughs> which is just, a, it is kind of a unique experience in that way. And it, just the ability, I mean, on your iPhone, you could watch short things, right. but this is, you could sit and take it on an airplane and knowing that your battery isn't going to die on a cross-Atlantic flight is huge. Right. Now, the dock connector for it is on the end here. So if you wanted to set it on your table like this, you can watch it in the vertical mode. But there is no real way with the dock connector to sit it in horizontal. Now, Apple does sell a case that kind of looks like a notebook binder that allows you to actually, you know, set it on your table in kind of an angled mode so that you can watch it almost like a picture frame. So, you know, it would have been nice to have a dock connector maybe on the horizontal side as well so I could stick it in that mm -hmm. same kind of keyboard frame. Um, but the quality of the image is beautiful and it's it is. It's a really bright a screen. Human. Yeah, so I mean, boom, there you are. Like right out of the box, you just have the Netflix app. I can access my queue. I can access whatever I want to watch instantly on my iPad. Uh, in addition to Netflix, there was other media apps on here that you wanted to check out. What yes, the, the other media app that everyone is talking about, it's ready on day one of launch, is the ABC player. So um, I think ABC just has all of their shows just ready to go. Not all of their shows, selected shows, but mm -hmm. you can watch them instantly. So it's the right. same thing, just like the Netflix, but for ABC shows, Lost, Desperate Housewives, Jamie Oliver's Food Revolution. And we're still waiting for Hulu. There is rumor that we're gonna see Hulu. Some people are saying we might have to pay for Hulu. I don't know if I wanna pay to watch Hulu if I can watch Hulu for free on my regular computer. Yeah, that doesn't really make that much sense. I mean, but just the possibilities of taking media with you everywhere. In that sense, I do think this is a game changer. Yeah, and I, I think a lot of people are wondering, you know, will this be the way to kind of cut the cable? You know, instead of having to subscribe to cable, will you be able to get all your shows? I know Steve Jobs was trying to get 
uh, cable channels to, to do that so you could actually buy you know, ESPN or buy a complete channel and get all you can eat of their media. Hasn't happened yet. I have to believe that if the success yeah, in sales happens, these cable networks are going to get on board and uh, offer some kind of all you can eat. I think so. And what are what apps are you excited about most? Of the you know, I had to immediately get the baseball app. I'm from Boston, and so for me, if I want to watch the Red Sox or listen to the Red Sox games, you kind of have to buy the expensive cable package, which is MLB at bat, which is like $145. Just for baseball? For baseball, I wow. know. But the MLB at bat app uh, gives you not only pitch by pitch of every single game in the league, but you can actually listen to the radio call. So I'm from Boston. It's the Red Sox Yankees playing. I don't want to hear the Yankees guy. I want to hear the hometown Red Sox radio call and I can do that. Plus, it's a beautiful visual image. It literally shows you every single pitch that's made, where it happened, what the speed of it, what kind of pitch it was. Um, if you're an MLB TV subscriber, you can actually watch all the games right from your iPad. Uh, they offer a couple of games for free each day. So if you're not really dedicated to, to seeing every single game, you can just catch a few games. And sometimes, if you have a good team like the Red Sox, they're actually played quite a bit. But it's really great to be able to listen to your home team, catch every pitch, and of course, you can do that on a plane, you can do it from wherever you are, you're not tied to your TV. And for me, I always had to do it on my laptop now. So it's stored, you don't have to listen to the game live, or you could listen to it live, is that your choice? It, it is live, okay. and you can actually go back, if you miss the game and you wanna go back, they'll actually not only play you the archive of the audio, but it'll hide all the scores so you don't actually accidentally see what the final score was before nice. it actually happened. So this is a big hit with me. It is kind of pricey. Last year it was only $4.99. This year you're paying $14.99, but they have improved the quality. And really in terms of all the sports leagues, MLB is ahead of the curve in terms of providing you um, with access to all the content on your iPhone or iPad. Okay. So I'm in the game, so I wanted to check out one of the games recommended to us by one of our Twitter followers, Flight Control HD. It is the HD follow-up to the very popular, one of the biggest selling apps on the iPhone, and it looks incredible on the iPad. If you don't know about Flight Control, let me tell you, it's a very simple game that takes a fun thing to do with a touchpad, which is swipe, and you're basically landing planes. So you have different colored runways, you have the red runway, you have the blue runway and they have the yellow runway. And they all the planes fly at different speeds depending on what color they are. The key is you can just swipe to send them where you want to go. You can reroute them. And it's just kind of an addictive little game. And the original iPhone version was 99 cents. They kept adding more maps for free. The, I, the iPad version is higher quality. It looks like they've added a bunch of different features and more airports. We're in the early, early days. You know, the developers that have been making apps for it are literally having the SDK for maybe three to four weeks. And so I'm excited for what's going to be coming out three to six months from now. So this is like the Pong of the iPad. <laughs> this is the Pong of the iPad. That's a great analogy. These are really the early game. And, you know, when you add in the accelerometer support uh, that's in this thing, I just have a feeling we're going to see a lot of really creative uh, new ideas and actually we just saw a an image for a patent that Apple has where you will slide this or your iPhone into a device that'll give you a d-pad and buttons so they're kind of wow. thinking you know some people like to have tactile button that may be coming as a future accessory Wow.